So for both my Twitch channel and my YouTube channel, I use Stream Elements and OBS Live, both for live streaming, but also for creating videos. So I thought it would be helpful to show you how I go about setting up my overlays for these platforms. My name's Inwills and welcome to the InCrowd. So the first thing I have to say that I am not sponsored by Stream Elements or OBS Live. They have rewarded me with a wonderful, fantastic hoodie for my dedication to Stream Elements. But at the moment, I am making these videos because this is what I use. And I must admit that I actually spent a lot of time trialing out all the other live streaming platforms before I really and truly just settled on Stream elements because it was the best for me. Coupled with OBS Live, it makes a wonderful combination. And the same is true with OBS. I started off with OBS at the start of streaming and have been with them for the majority of the time. I have tried other platforms but have come back to OBS and I must say when Stream Elements created OBS Live it really was the icing on the cake for me. Now I can have all the features of OBS that I love plus my chat, my activities and my media requests all on one monitor in one screen. It's absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to split these videos up into short bite-sized pieces and on in this video I'm going to focus on um, my approach to creating overlays, that thought process that I go through right at the beginning and to see what colours and features I need. And I'm going to show you this while flicking through Stream Elements' wonderful selection of themes. So here I am logged into my Stream Elements dashboard and the first thing I do is come over to this button high up here on the left and where it says Themes Gallery and I press this. And this loads in all the themes that are available for, for me. Now you can see that some of these are very specific to the time of the year and some are very specific to games. Here's the new Apex Legends um, that you can actually pick up within Stream Elements. Now the first decision I have to make is whether or not I want a static scene or a animated scene. Now the difference between these is that um, one, as the name suggests, Yes, is very stationary and doesn't have a lot of animation. Well, the animated scenes have a lot of animation within them. Now, for me, using OBS Live, I find that it can take on the um, processing power for the animated scenes. And so I would generally go with that. Um, for my chat show that I do on a Monday night on Twitch, I actually use a program called vMix. And with that, I find that it's a lot better to use static scenes for that because because there's a lot of things running in the background and this puts strain on your CPU. So the first thing I would say is have a go at the animated ones, especially if you're using OBS Live and see how everything works and whether or not the, the CPU can cope with it. And then if it can't, then don't worry, just go to the, um, the static version. So the next thing I look at is whether or what colors I want in my theme. So you can see here that we have a selection of the Metropolis theme on Stream Elements. And it's actually this blue theme that I actually use for the majority of my games at the moment. But you can see, and this is one of the nice things about Stream Elements, it comes in other colors as well. So there's green and orange. Now I actually do go through all these and see which which colors I prefer. Um, to me, the orange and the green, the contrast between the blue background and that green is a little bit too strong for me. So I went for the blue. But further down, you can see here, there's a whole load of the um, purple void or green goblin theme that comes in purple, green, uh, orange, blue. So there's lots of variations here. Uh, so you can 
pretty near go through and choose a color that you absolutely adore and would want on your screen. Now, the next thing that you need to do is have a look at the individual um, elements that are within a theme. So here you can see that this is the purple void animated super theme. And what I would be pressing is this preview button to have a good look at what it actually looks like. And within each theme, you get a variety of screens. So this is the main gaming screen that you can see here. This one is a tour, what I call a talking screen you have your starting soon screen and be right back and stream ended now the other thing that i like to do is look at what's available on each sort of like um setup so where i can see here on this one if i just zoom into it a bit that i'm going to have a little um camera down here and while on an others it, it might be a frame you can see that there's um a little box up here that is showing the tip goal or things like that and it generally shows you the alerts as well so in this static one you can see that there's going to be a bar up at the top and a bar down at the bottom now I actually personally do not like the bars up at the top and the bottom. And this is mainly because the games I play, um, I know this is a talking screen, but sometimes the overlays have these bars at the top and the bottom. And I don't like that because sometimes it's covering up important information. For example, a bar at the top when I'm playing um, Elder Scrolls Online would cover up things like the um, compass. And yes, I know they can all be moved around, but for me, I prefer um, to have as much of the gaming screen possible as um, viewable as possible so the one that i actually um went for in the end was um this um blue um static um, um animated screen and the reason i like this is because of this webcam down here and i really like the idea of a webcam with all whole load of stuff underneath it so it's also like compacted and um, sort of like in one box I do like to celebrate new followers and um, who's donated or given bitties or whatever thing like that I like that on the screen but this allows me to have a nice um, webcam frame with information below I actually don't like this part up here on my um, screen. This is my Twitter, etc., and where to follow me. And I actually prefer that on my Be Right Back screens or Stream Starting screens. And then I use the commands within Stream Elements to set up um, the options to sort of like do exclamation mark YouTube to get the command um, of it up there. I must admit, I went through a phase of importing my own um, animations for things like followers alert but the more and more I've used stream elements I actually like theirs and just so you know there is a whole load of um, specific um, anime alerts for you to choose from um, on this page as well so you know you don't have to have the same variety all the time you can mix them up so during Christmas I use the Xmas Twinkle animated alerts, which are here. Now, as well as these th super themes that are, are both static and animated, plus you have all the different sort of like areas, the or screens such as Be Right Back and Starting Soon screens, you also have some um, themes. They lose that superness of them, and they can be found here. And these tend to be um, screens or um, overlays that. Um, are not particularly animated if at all but just sort of like contain um, basic elements so if I look at this polygrunge talk overlay if I preview it then this is it this is all you get you don't get the be right back etc etc and it's just one screen so so one um, screen that I do like um, is this one because when it loads um, because it actually has this same sort of like idea with the boxes underneath. Um, so I really like that idea of that webcam. But there's loads for you to choose from here. And I suggest that you set yourself out um, in your time schedule a good half hour to 
have a browse and click on each one of them and see what you really like and then um, adapt it from there. So once I've browsed and decided on the different um, scenes or the overall feel of the overlay that I want, then I create it. And you can see here that I, from that blue metropolis one, I created it and named them. So I have my blue scenes, animated blue metropolis, start scene, etc. And once you create them, they then appear in the area of the um, dashboard called my overlays. And you can see here that I've got quite a few so I'll talk about what these are in the next um, video but here's my uh, Monday talk show uh, all there all set up and notice this is a static theme because I use that for vmix um, I've also got down here this is my blue theme that I use for my main games and then down here I've got my Minecraft um, one that I'm hoping to start some Minecraft streaming with eventually now, once I've got um, to this stage, then it's time to actually make these separate elements because how I actually create my overlay is that I've don't I don't tend to use the whole overlay I tend to cut it up now into little individual elements and then allocate them to specific areas or specific scenes within OBS live so if you're interested in how I do that, then come back next time because I'm going to then be looking at creating perhaps the most important part for me in my overlay, which is going to be the webcam view. Three, two, one. And that's it for this first video, how I decide on my um, overview of my overlay. So if you've enjoyed this or any of my videos, then please consider liking, commenting or subscribing. Doing this not only supports my channel, but also contributes to supporting my dream. So do come back next time and when I'll be showing you how I create my web frame um, for streaming on Twitch. So until next time, have fun guys and keep on stream elementaling. See you later, guys. Bye.